Hey guys, it's Brandon with Low T Nation, and I just want to take a minute of your time today to let you know of a couple things that are going on. Uh, first and obviously foremost, this COVID thing is crazy. You know, we hope that you guys are all doing well. We hope that your, you know, emotions, that your health, and that your finances are all uh, doing okay. We know that not everybody has the luxury of saying, yeah, all three of those things are great with me. If there's anything that we can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. And I mean that. I'm not just saying that. Um, you know, we're here to help you guys. And we also just want to say thank you so much for your continued patronage uh, to Low T Nation. And we are so proud that because of our model that we are able to continue to take care of you guys in a very uninterrupted manner. Um, as long as FedEx, these compounding pharmacies, and LabCorp uh, remain essential, which obviously they will. Um, you guys, we're not going to see any interruption in your, uh, your de the delivery of your care at all. Now, even though there's no interruption, there is going to be a change. And if you remember the last video that we put out, we said most likely the FDA was going to kill um, HCG production, and they did. So today's April 16th. As of April 1st, compounding pharmacies were no longer allowed to manufacture HCG, but they could get rid of what they had, they had uh, stocked up on their shelves. Well, Hollandale, and this is reason number 293 that we love them, they had the foresight to, to backlog a ton of HCG, somewhere between 35 and 40 weeks of what their current weekly utilization right now is. Um, all of our other pharmacies are out. It's been half a month, okay? Um, Hollandale has it, you know, for a long time. The limitation, though, they don't have all of the different variations and sizing of the, the doses of HCG anymore. They just have 11,000 IU vials. Before, you guys were getting 4,000 IU vials. We would have you mix 4 mLs of water, and that would last you the month. What we're doing now is we're going to mix 8 mLs of water into the HCG, and we're going to have you use it for two months. Okay, now if you've ever listened to any of my training, whether it's, you know, the, the training the doctors on how to do this or our YouTube stuff or any of our live seminars, um, you've probably heard me talk about the degradation of HCG at the 45-day point and then at the 60-day point. It's about 12% on average degradation, um, 12 to 15% sometimes on average at 60 days, okay? What Hollandale is doing to get around that, they want to make sure that at 60 days you have in that bottle what it says on the label. So they're over-mixing it. They're mixing it a little rich to start with, and they have third-party third party potency testing to prove this. And I've actually laid my eyes on it. I didn't want to take anybody's word for it. Um, I've seen it. I actually have a copy of this. At 60 days, it's 103% of what it says on the vial. Okay, that's number one. And number two, we were sending you 4,000 IUs a month. With this new change, you're going to be getting basically 5,500 IUs a month. So even if they had mixed it one-to-one -to, -one to start with, that, you know, up to 15% degradation, uh, with that 15% degradation, you would still have more than what you had before in your system. Okay, so the, the takeaway from this is mix 8 mLs of water instead of 4 Please keep this stuff in the refrigerator. We definitely want to maximize that 60-day preservation of it. Um, administer the same amount that you were doing before. And if all goes well, don't hold me to this because it's outside of my control, but I hope that this, this first 11,000 IU vial that all of you are going to get from us is the last HCG vial that you ever get from us because we have a new peptide that's going to take over. I've been begging for this new peptide for over a year um, there just wasn't any demand for it in the U.S. This stuff's been uh, heavily studied and utilized in Europe, but just because of the way this stuff works, no one in America um, could see a demand for it just because no one knew about it. And it, to, to put a new product on your shelves, it takes a lot of money. There's potency and sterility testing. There's things that have to happen um, in order to make that occur. Um, that was an expense that didn't make a lot of sense with a product that had no demand. Okay, so now with the void created with the FDA stomping on HCG production, now it made sense. So a lot of these pharmacies are going to carry this new peptide. Um, give us a minute to, to, you know, get this new HCG thing going right. We have a lot of training. We have a lot of information coming out on the new peptide, but rest assured it's superior in several different ways, and we'll get into that, to HCG. 
Okay, so, um, you know, if there's any questions that you guys have because of this, please hit us up. But again, today being um, April 16th, kits arrive today with this new um, 11,000 IU vial. Make sure to read the instructions. Please make sure to put in twice as much water as before. Please make sure to keep this stuff refrigerated and um, just go about business as usual. You will not get two of these in the next two months. You're going to get one for the next two months. And like I said, hopefully that's the last HCG you guys ever see with our name on it or Hollandale's name on it. And we can move over to the new peptide and leave HCG in the rearview mirror where it belongs. Okay, so like I said earlier, um, I hope everybody's doing well with this COVID crisis. Um, man, let's all stay safe. Let's all keep working together. If there's anything we can do for you, I mean it. Don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, in the meantime, until we talk again, you guys stay safe and have a great day. Thank you.